this makes sense and we're not really making a political statement we're making a statement about how fiverr helps a business from graphic design to web development or even a pr expert for things like i don't know booking a press conference my name is nick ball and i'm a director at uh, mjz i am duncan bird and i am the vp of brand marketing digital at Fiverr. My name is Lauren Schneidmuller. I am the executive producer at Publicist New York. My name's Andy Bird. I am uh, the chief creative officer of Publicist New York. Why did Fiverr choose to run its first Super Bowl ad this year? We just uh, rebranded our company with an update to our brand, established a new campaign on television and saw some really interesting and positive results and felt that that combination of growth felt like the right time um, to be part of the Super Bowl. We basically looked around for ideas that kind of complemented that, that of what they do. The idea to partner with Four Seasons Total Landscaping is essentially an extension of what we were already doing, but leaning into a cultural moment, which was one of the number one conversations happening in North America. Looks good, guys. Success. It's often right place, right time. The initial reach out, they were very excited. They love the idea. They love the idea of partnering with Fiverr on it and, and they're helping small business approach. He is someone who had never done any acting, like not even put in front in front of a camera. Like she she's a really lovely woman who can talk the leg off a chair. What I find really funny is people seem to think she was a, who she was cast. Like I've had a lot of people who are very surprised to, to realize that she's the woman who owns Four Seasons Total Landscaping. But I think, yeah, man, she was just a whiz. Like she was such a good, good, good woman to work with. When opportunity knocks at your corrugated garage door, you roll that puppy up. We were lucky enough to find Nick. We actually awarded this job on Christmas Eve. <laughs> um, and, you know, it was shot in mid-January, so our timeline on it was um, short. Every one of the ones that I've done has been like this same kind of like Christmas Eve script, award the job after Christmas day, and then just like hectic, shoot second week of January mentalness. And this was, this was up there. We jumped very quickly into the production process. We made some early decisions. Uh, in terms of, you know, heavy visual effects versus trying to shoot things practically. We leaned more towards the practical side, knowing how short our timeline was. We got it in the can in mid-January and we shipped it on February 2nd. We were shooting by the, t like something like the 10th of January, something like that. And that whole world has to be built from the ground up. So I have to, you know, brief casting, start conversations with production designers to build that world. We have to crew up very, very quickly. So we have to make sure we can get cinematographers and you know all the crew on the ground. We have to figure out where we're gonna shoot as well. We had to shoot in Mexico City because we were gonna shoot in LA where Nick is based, but the COVID protocols meant they suddenly changed that we couldn't do it. How did um, COVID-19 affect or change your normal process? I mean, it changed everything, you know, everything. None of us were on the ground from the agency. Our director was, and we did everything through Zoom and through direct feeds into the camera, you know, seeing sets that way, you know, that that's all challenging and not being able to be there in person. Before we even started the shoot, we saw um, a video of Marie arriving at the set and for the first time seeing that we'd recreated the front of her company down to the stickers that were removed after the conference and she immediately just started crying she couldn't believe like she was like oh my god there's the fire extinguisher like she ever down to every detail <laughs> she was so excited and the and the production team was so excited to be there for her you know be there with her to see it 
most of America, I'm sure, is familiar with that facade, but the inside of the business, <laughs> what was your thinking behind that? Well, the idea is kind of, it's kind of hyperbole, and it's basically what Fiverr could do for Four Seasons. It was just like, what if it was like a Star Wars tunnel, and then she had like this, these rooms where there were these labs, and then there was this, and then there was this big atrium, and it built to this thing where it was like, what? Alice down the rat hole kind of thinking, you know? And it was just like, we've got the vehicle, the vehicle tracks us through, you know, that's the journey. We can kind of jump around anywhere. And then just building that big space at the end where it was just like a sort of garden of Eden of weird landscaping stuff with tech. And it was like, what about some hedge trimmers, dudes with jetpacks? And it was like, yeah, okay, that'll work. So it was a lot of that kind of stuff. But I, I guess in my mind, it was this journey of surprise and and unexpectedness from start to finish I, I think anytime you have something as like boring like the exterior of an industrial estate with a roller door the imagination basically runs wild it's like what's what's behind it could be absolutely anything it was sort of like Cirque du Soleil meets Willy Wonka with Marie in the middle of it. One of my favorite lines in the whole commercial was the last one where Marie's just like, this is not a hotel. Is this a lobby? This is not a hotel. It couldn't have been delivered any better. It was just such a... <laughs> I know. Like a, in that accent as well. It, it seemed like I... Yeah, it seemed like a natural unrehearsed. Like I'd never heard it kind of put that way before. You would have known that that's exactly how she would have said it. It's, yeah. it was perfect. I weirdly have a feeling she might have come up with, this is not a hotel. Like I don't, I can't remember that being the line that I remember saying. I can remember that we got a series of things, but I can't remember that anyone other than Marie said that in that tone at the right time. Any other funny, interesting, insightful anecdotes on set? One of the great things that happened is Marie's son actually made the cut and he was actually in the spot. He played one of the extras at the very opening outside the facade and gave him the job of moving the podium out of the way. How has the reception been? The response has been phenomenal. Um, the publicity has been um, incredible. The sentiment that we're getting and the comments that we're getting has been incredibly positive. I knew that it would get coverage be just because of what it was, not the spot itself, just the fact you used Four Seasons would get, you know, would get headlines and it did. The number of people I've seen talking about us quote unquote winning the Super Bowl, which I think is pretty hard given that none of us are NFL players, is, uh, is humbling. It was also so much fun. It was so much fun and actually very rewarding.